What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp. Sparky's back. Like he never left. And today we're going to be talking about bolt actions versus semi-automatics for hunting purposes. Uh, we're going to go over a little bit of the pros, the cons, and everything. Uh, talk about what does better where, and then kind of just reasons. Go, yeah, reasons why. Preferences. And all that great stuff. But before we dive into it, I would like to ask you guys to go check out Basement Operator Company. Basement Operator Company is our apparel line. Helps us... Uh, fund the channel a little bit and gives you guys some awesome stuff to wear. So go check it out, basementoperator.com. Link is in the description. Okay, Sparky, so let's get right into this. Bolts versus semis. All right, so let's let's start out by talking about the pros of each of them Okay. and just comparing them back and forth. So let's talk about bolt actions first. Um, kind of the tried and true hunting gun. Extremely traditional. Extremely traditional. We have a uh, Ruger American Predator right mm -hmm. here. We actually both own one of these rifles and it is clear, as you can see. Um, let's, let's talk a little bit about it. So typically, bolt action firearms have been the staple for hunting. Mm -hmm. um, most people grew up with them. Most people shot their first deer with, with, a, with a bolt. Um, typically, they're chambered in larger calibers like 6.5, uh, 308, 243, 30-06. 6 um, You have a very wide selection of mm -hmm. calibers that you can chamber a bolt gun in that are typically um, acceptable for deer hunting, you know? And legal. Legal for deer hunting. And that is one of the, actually one of the benefits for a bolt gun compared to a lot of semi-automatics. And when we, when we refer to semi-automatics, I want to uh, clarify that typically we're going to be referring AR platform to the AR platform, um, America's rifle, really. Exactly. Um, and obviously there's a thousand different semi-automatic guns out there that are chambered in tons of different calibers, but really we're referring to the AR-15. Okay, so one of the, the pros to a bolt is the caliber selection, mm -hmm. um, where you can dive really into anything. If you walked into any gun store and like, hey man, I'm looking to buy a deer rifle, I would argue nine times out of 10, they're going to try to hand you a bolt action. Yeah, they're going to try to hand you a bolt action gun and they'll have more selection. Mm -hmm. um, obviously with the internet, you can get pretty much whatever you want nowadays. Exactly. But if you're just going into your local gun store, you'll have a wider selection of calibers in a bolt that you can use to hunt deer with. Because if you go in and ask for AR, an AR platform and for a and caliber legal for deer hunting, that's going to be harder to find. Yeah. I mean, 6.5 Grendel is becoming more and more available. You're in a little more mainstream as far as finding them on the shelf. Yeah. And the same way with 300 Blackout. But most, they're still most, not as common. Not though. as common. Most ARs, AR-15s in gun stores are going to be two, two, three, two, two, three. Yeah, and, like, so, or like, an AR-10 in like was it 308 or 65 Green more. Yeah, or you know, but whatever. That's still pretty rare. Like how often? So I know, like going into Rule King, which is a local box store around here that sells firearms, the vast majority are two, two, three. Exactly. You might find like a DPMS Oracle that's 308. 308 yeah, but very like few and far between now. Mm -hmm. So you'll have a, a, white, a lot wider selection, selection in, bolt in, ter action. in terms of calibers for your bolt action uh, rifles. And I think that's a big plus, okay? Caveat to that, the AR-15, or the AR-10, AR-15, both AR platform, um, aren't that as rare. And the, the, I guess, the different calibers like the 308 and 6.5, like you had mentioned, are becoming more popular. So the next big difference or pro or con depending on how you run the gun is probably weight uh, yeah that's what mm -hmm. my thing is weight because you can find you like if you're going to hunt like you know out west right. you see a lot of guys carrying a bolt action with carbon fiber barrel yeah and they're because you're only going to shoot one time hopefully just one time so you're going to carry something super lightweight and and bolt action that can be you know a little slimmer a little lighter weight um as opposed to exact same caliber in an AR platform like this AR-10, mm -hmm. um, so much heavier. Yeah. So much heavier. So AR-10's reason, one of one of the big reasons I don't ever, I personally, I don't ever hunt with AR-10 uh, because of the weight. But you, we mentioned the weight and that's a serious thing. But when you go to those super lightweight rifles, you're also $2,000 rifle, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah exactly. So there, there's obviously a trade-off. And with all the stuff we mentioned, there's, there's going to be like, 
I wouldn't say extreme exceptions, but there's always exceptions to the rule. Like when we talk about like lightweight mm -hmm. semi-automatics, you can get an AR pistol exactly. chambered in a 300 blackout. 65 Grendel, whatever. Anything. It's this big. And, it's, and it can fit in this book bag right here. And it Slightly. will obviously weigh less than this bolt will. You could throw it on a one point sling carrot thing right here. And, and a lot of guys do that. Yeah. Because they're, you know, the lightweight and they're going to black out in the woods. I mean, that's nice and nice Easy. and quick. Yeah. And I, this is another thing. You know, if you had an AR platform and you're worried about your hearing, if you didn't run a suppressor, you, that, you would have that. Well, you, on this. Well, we can just. You, you, exactly. If you know, you're on an AR platform, you can easily, easily run a, a suppressor. suppressor. You don't see many bolts that come standard with a threaded barrel. This specific one does. Does. But. And you can see we and have. You see it. The, the adapters the, on there. But most your standard Savage or Remington 700s or whatever traditional bolt action sh gun you want to throw in there typically aren't, Suppress thre aren't or suppressor ready. They're not yeah. threaded. And ARs, they're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. You got to have the dinero to, to do it. Yeah. But, it's, get, but you got more options in an AR platform, but yeah. it's a downside depending on which platform you go with can be weight. Yeah. And in general, the bolt wins. Like it, yeah. in the general sense, the bolt yeah. is a lot lighter. But you, you had mentioned custom, customizability. I would say that that is one of the things that really gives a pro to the semi-automatic or the AR-15 Hunter mm -hmm. is the ability to literally customize every bit of your rifle. Exactly. Um, whereas a bolt takes a little bit more to get really into. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not really super, super difficult to get into customizing a bolt, uh, but you, you typically don't have as many options. Because the only uh, things you're going to be able to change in a bolt action is going to be your stock, well, your bipod, trigger, yeah, scope. That I mean, that's kind of the basic things you can. But you even can swapping, change. even swapping like a trigger, I would say is a little bit more involved than an AR. Of course. Yeah. yeah, than an AR platform. I would, I would agree. But you get to an AR platform, yeah, it's like Legos. Exactly. It's, it's the reasons why you shoot an AR platform to begin with for any other reason. It's super it's, simple to change got, anything. Exactly. You got a lot of options in a bolt action. You don't, but in a hunting application. You don't really you need, don't need that. Like, well, you don't need it, but it could be a reason somebody wants it. Like, say, for for example, it, it depends on how much you want to get into it, I guess. Exactly. And how much you want to dedicate to it. Because um, I would say this would be a cheaper route to go. Yeah, it would definitely be a cheaper route to go, but some people don't care about the cheaper route. Some people no. maybe want something more, I don't know, maybe they just want more to it. You know? Exactly, because and with I the would, ability to upgrade and change and sim well without having to, without having to go to a gunsmith, because you could go to any box gun store and spend five hundred dollars mm -hmm. and walk out with a decent rifle with scope already on it, ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Now, granted, you could probably do the same thing with AR. Maybe but not. My with baby, scope. not. Yeah, but for five hundred dollars, probably not. If you were looking for bang for a buck bolt action because you're going you know there's so many guns gun manufacturers like ruger savage yeah. and whatever the company you want to throw in there that offer packages that come with a budget rifle with a budget scope for five six hundred bucks that's true the like the savage axis you got an axis and then and, and ruger, a lot Americans. of people hate on the axis but we have jared jared has an axis mm -hmm. came with like a, a bushnell scope on yeah. it yeah Thing shoots good. Oh, they, they work like the deer doesn't know any difference at no. 60 yards. But, no. like, it just, uh, again, this is a subject that's strictly preference and yeah. functionality. It is a lot of preference. But, but let's talk about, let's talk about another, another difference between is the ability to, to do quick follow-up shots. Okay. And, yeah. and not only that, but ammo capacity, too. Mm -hmm. which so, could get you in trouble depending on your state yeah depending on depending on your state but typically speaking a ar platform you have a lot quicker follow-up shots and i can already see somebody commenting shoot better shoot better to begin <laughs> with well obviously like that's at, duh yeah, yeah but say you're not as good of a shooter when bambi's dad steps out and you're, and you're just like Hoo! quicker follow-up shots uh more reliable, I would say, because like sometimes you get your bolt caught racking it or something. What something. if this misfeeds? Yeah. So I, that, that, I, it, yeah, that's another But thing. it's something you don't have to think about, though. You yeah. don't have to think about racking your bolt. Well, and well, yeah. sometimes this is second nature. I guess it just depends just, on yeah. how into it you are and how much you're 
shooting. Of course, I, I guess. I mean, yeah, it, like I said, just really going to come down second to, nature, to, to preference price and what you, what all you want to do with it mm -hmm. um, and budget. Um, like, but I would make the argument that, I mean, I hunt with a bolt action nine times out of 10, but just to, strictly because I have more of them. Yeah. And I've always hunted with a bolt action, like hunting for deer in, in this specific instance. But, um, mainly because if, if you're a new hunter, I would recommend just going out and getting you a budget bolt action and if, if rocking you, and rolling. If you were a new hunter, I would. Actually, you know what? It's funny enough. I started with the SKS. Really? Yeah. Shot my first deer. Actually, was right here. It was right there, over there on the hill. Shot my first deer with the SKS. Uh, and I've been a semi-automatic hunter probably the majority of the hunts I've went on. So now I hunt with a Grendel. Um, and I just, I don't know why, but I have a preference to it. Um, I like, I don't know, I just, I just like it. I, I like guess it. it also comes down to what you're doing. Like if you're walking 30 yards from the truck to the stand, it doesn't matter how weight of your wife, the weight of your rifle. No, it if doesn't. If you're doing no. more backpacking, and you know, a couple day hunts and you know hunt national forest or whatever and you're having to walk a long ways i'm gonna go as light as possible yeah but what what one of the benefits to having an ar like if you're only looking to buy one rifle your ar can oh, okay. double more mm -hmm. as a more useful rifle for like personal defense exactly. as well so, so if if you're looking to buy like one rifle maybe think about do i want to ever use like as a personal defense rifle because a lot of states can you can use 223 to hunt in virginia is one of those that, that you can't just can't uh so you could like have multi-purpose for your mm -hmm. ar-15 you could just or, swap the upper or yep yeah, that too uh, if you if you go the ar-15 you can swap between shooting that 223 upper plinking with it and then just and then switch the 300 blackout or 65 grendel or whatever hunting approved caliber in your state that i mean it likes if you want to buy a one rifle just buy a second upper to hunt with yeah so I, I think that's where another i guess reason to buy or people that choose to buy an ar-15 to hunt with can make the argument well i can use this rifle for more than one intended purpose spend uh, 300 bucks on the upper and you got two rifles or yeah or just live in a state where you can hunt with 223 yeah that's true. whereas like this i mean You're it's a in it. that, that that this specific rifle has one function yeah this is really just a hunting rifle i mean i would not you can use plink with it you right. can plink with it but it it's not that fun to plink with it usually you end up with a sore shoulder and you're like oh it's zero <laughs> let's let's end this uh, i guess you would get sore shut up uh so the that's that's one of the the downsides to the hunting rifle or the bolt the standard bolt is it's really one functionality yeah but it's, like i said this subject is not one of them strictly opinion and preference yeah strictly opinion and preference where mine lands on the semi and yours lands on, on the, the bolt. bolt mainly because it's what i'm and used i guess to. it has to do with that as well growing up you know? yeah like but to each their own the world is your oyster but with both of these you can spend as much money on the on an ar platform and as much money as you want to on a bolt action platform yeah it's just whatever you want you want to throw a wild card in there what lever action shut up i don't even want to get into that just saying yeah well we ain't got one of them <laughs> so uh really when it comes down to it there's no right or wrong answer um it's really about where you value your pros and your cons and we didn't even talk about accuracy but i don't honestly at, at today's see. day and age your even your budget ar-15 hold a you, good group hold a good group if you're using like good ammo good ammo just as i wouldn't say well i would say probably just as well as most shooters can shoot a bolt because like maybe if you have like this awesome shooter that in, is in absolute perfect conditions bolt action will outperform semi-automatic in perfect conditions yeah and that's in you're not shaking you're got a good in good trigger pull but in absolute perfect conditions the bolt action will slightly outperform the semi, but it's gotten a lot. Semi-automatic has gotten a lot better over the last couple of years. Yeah, so, and, and just improvements to ammunition, ammunition and gas system. Gas system. So I don't really think there's that much of an argument for your make, standard shooter. They would make the argument with semi-automatics that you're not getting the consistent gas pressure mm -hmm. in a semi-automatic, as opposed to with the bolt action. It's going to be the same 
well, I shouldn't say the same every time, but nine times out of 10, you got the same gas pressure because the only thing moving is once, your bolt. Once that bolt's locked in place, ain't nothing. Yeah. It's the same. If this bolt on the semi automatic is slightly off, slightly open, your pressure's different and that changes your. Everything, yeah. everything coming this way changes. So but that was the argument for a long time and that has gotten a lot better. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think it holds up as, as well. well not, not like it used to, I no. would say. But. So I wouldn't. If it was me, I wouldn't worry about the accuracy difference in choosing exactly. between these two. So, I really think you can't go wrong either way. It's really how you want to uh, how you want to hunt, what your purpose is for hunting, and, and how much situation. money you want to spend. Yeah, yeah, so. your situation and how much money you want to spend exactly. So. But you can spend as much or as low as you want to on both of them. But as long as it fulfills your purpose and what you need it to do, then more power to you. Don't let someone tell you what you have to hunt with. As long as, well, I mean, state can tell you, but don't, don't, <laughs> the government can tell you. <laughs> the government can tell you, but don't let somebody say, oh, you have to hunt with a bolt action because that's the way my granddad did it. Yeah. No. It's my not. dad grew up hunting with a semi automatic 30 6 Remington Woodmaster. So there you go. So there you go. It's semi automatic. And, and so Frank's it, as OG as you can get. Exactly. So, like, you can do whatever you want as long as it fits within your state's laws. Yeah. All right, so I think that's going to conclude our very roundabout video on telling you that it really doesn't matter. We have uh, the and same to do what you want. as we did start to with. You yeah. do whatever you want. Do what you want, but there are pros and cons to either. We really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and check me out on Instagram. My link is down below there. I post deals. You can find like scopes and whatnot for your hunting expeditions. So I'll see you on the next one. As always, take someone outdoors. Peace.